everybody and welcome back to another saints gaming stream i'm your host as always matthias matthias talbot and i'm joined by theo the holy one ivanov how are you doing today i'm doing great today it's a wonderful wednesday evening and it's a wonderful night for some valorant action we have the saints taking on west west virginia university saints are four and on the season west virginia two and two so saints going to be the big favorites heading to this one but still gonna have to play well to take the win yeah here in nice valorant there's always room for upsets i mean just looking at the last game we watched the saints play it was not their best showing yes they still won pretty handily there in that last map but they made it go the distance they lost some big leads that they shouldn't have lost and they had they were given a run for their money yeah absolutely a few rounds there that they're definitely going to look at and uh i think improve on and I think today, if they are playing as well as they were last time, I think they're going to keep the foot on the gas pedal and uh, win by as big of margin as they can. Yeah, I think that might have been a good wake-up call for them to try and, you know, dial in, see their little breaks, whatever little mistakes they had, their mental or, you know, technical, and try and work on those. But now going into this next game, it should be pretty interesting, you know. West Virginia University doesn't have the best record so far. They're 2-2. Two and two. It's not amazing, but it's pretty you good. know, there's always some room for changes. We don't know how close those games that they lost were, right? Yeah, absolutely. It could have gone to five maps or to three maps every single time. And the two wins is still two wins. This is the highest mm -hmm. uh, conference. So the competition, no matter the record, you have to be on your A game to win it all. But Saints, definitely, uh, definitely the stronger team on paper and... Uh, probably overall, you know, they've been one of the top teams for a while now, and I think uh, that that pattern isn't going to stop anytime soon. Yeah, I don't think it will, but we also have some Call of Duty going on on our second stream, yep. if that's more your speed. I don't think there's going to be any casting, but that's going to be over on Saints Gaming CA2, so you can check that out there if you're a fan of Call of Duty. But going back over to Valorant, let's get some score predictions here. Some How do you think this is going to shake up? Uh, I mean, I hope the Saints win 2-0. Uh, even though last week they did drop a map, I think they're gonna try and like silence any 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 thought of losing at all. So I think they're gonna take a 2-0, and uh, I think pretty comfortably at that. You think it's gonna be a complete shutout here? Not a complete shutout, though. Definitely, yeah. it'll be like close, it'll be like 13-6, 13-7, but still a pretty pretty dominant fashion. I hope, at least from the Saints. Yeah, I I would say the same. I have hope for the Saints. I think they're gonna clean up their act from last time. I don't see them losing any lead if they gain one. They want to keep that in their hands. They're going to tighten up any gameplay problems they've had. But with all that being said, I think that's all we have for now. So we're going to throw it over to a very quick break. We'll be right back with the game. I don't, I don't know if... I didn't know either, but I was just throwing it to there because I was like, it's better than like Flounder because we don't have maps, we don't have anything.
everybody and welcome back. We're just about to get into our first game, St. Clair College versus West Virginia University. And our map is going to be Ascent for the first map. A very basic map, very simple, quite figured out by now. Yeah. But it really lets the skill shine. Yeah, one of the older maps, so basically all players that play now know this map inside and out. And, you know, it's going to be definitely definitely interesting to see what is going to come on this map. Sova, usually a pick that you see on this map. I'm almost certain that we'll see it from uh, both sides here. And you can see for the side of the Saints, it's still Okayu, Instinct, Truth, and the Smiley on their starting lineup. And for the side of West Virginia, they got A77, Inox, X-Tice, x Excite, my bad. Excite, Excite yeah. Dinks, and Gucci. So <laughs> it's going to be a good, good matchup here. And there, there you have their lineup picked. They have Jet as their duelist. Killjoy, KO, Sova, and Omen going to be there for all the utility. The same. And the Saints are going <laughs> to say that is the perfect read on the meta. We are going to play the exact same thing. So it's just going to be a matchup of a pure raw skill here. Not too much differential in the ability usage. Yeah, that's a scent for you. It's pretty much the same comp on each side. Uh, disregarding some balance changes, but you know, that Sova and that Jet and that Kildra are just so strong. Uh, I don't see them ever going out of rotation, barring some major changes to the game. But Ascent should be pretty exciting. Saints starting attack. Yeah. I know a lot of people prefer starting defense, you know, because it's a little bit more relaxed. You yeah. can have them approach you, but I think the Saints definitely prefer starting attack. They Absolutely. love rushing in, bringing the rules of engagement over to their opponents. Yeah, Saints love to play with a lot of aggression. Not too many rounds, I think, we'll see from them where they're defaulting and just kind of waiting for picks. I think they like to push a sight, so it's going to be fun to watch. And, you know, one thing we always critiqued was that the Saints lose the pistol rounds. As of late, they've been relatively decent on their pistol rounds. They've been winning them more often than not, so I think that's one uh, crucial change that's just going to make them even better than they were before. I'd have to agree right with you there. It looks like they're gonna just go for the save meta, just buying some light shield, saving some money for utils and the like. Over on the other side, we're seeing some ghosts, some sheriffs, some shields as well. Looks like they're gonna go up for a split push to start. Probably play for picks. Yeah, I mean, I said they wouldn't default much, and I'm proven wrong. Immediately, they will be a bit split up here, but maybe it looks like they might go for a mid play, maybe into A even. See how this side plays. Instinct gonna go for a swing. There is a smoke there. As now the Saints gonna cross. Dinks just peaks 1v2, 1v3 actually. Gets taken down immediately. It's a great start for the Saints. As looks like they are looking to push through tree there. Gucci is here on the omen. Can he find any opening picks here? Inox is gonna find the first pick. And Inox is gonna find the wow. second there on that KO. Great shots there from the side of Minnesota. Uh, of West Virginia University as Smiley gets a pick alongside Tillo. They're trying to right click here. Does he pick up the ghost? Not sure. The shots come out from Truth though. Nice beautiful headshot there. On to Gucci. Tillo spots out the defender. Let's see if Saints can get the spike down. Looks like they will be able to but Excite finds a Truth with that shock. They're now to 2v2 as Saints looking to get the plant down. 2v2. They recover the spike. Put it down. Things are looking quite good. A77 looking for some way to get onto the site. Waiting for the turret. Popping it out. Turn the corner. Getting shot through the wall. Can't really get a good approach here. Silva Dart gives them some info here. They might be able to approach. Smoke is down. That Omen just trying to buy time, make it as tough to approach as possible. Excite running down A77, dropping down. Smile you heard moving that? into the smoke. Here's the drop down, moving forward. Tries to get the dink, gets one. Can he get another? It's all down to A77. Time is ticking. Nice. That's gonna be Smiley winning the round with a double kill. Beautiful play there. In the 2v2, Saints throw down that huge, huge omen smoke, which just bought them infinite time, and then they were forced to get pushed on, and then just beautiful timing for them coming out of that smoke, getting the shots there. Uh, great job from the Saints. Inox got a couple kills on the side of West Virginia, so it did get a bit scary there, but still a clean round for the Saints, and now you're going to see some big buys coming through, through for them. They got a couple of Vandals, a Bulldog, and a Guardian. Tillo will stick to that Sheriff, though. Yeah, it's because you need that Sova Utel, you know, those shocked 
starts. The, everything is just so good there. You gotta spend that money while you have it. And Ox running with the Sheriff here. Gonna have to try and card this cross very carefully here. With the jet, the jet goes <laughs> down. Instincts finds Dinks. You're gonna find him out oh. with the drum as well. But Inox gets a nice kill with the Sheriff. Everyone's rushing him though. He's gonna go down in no time. Smiley gets two. Kyle gets one. That leaves one left on the side of West Virginia. It's gonna be A77 once again. Last one remaining. Has to clutch it up. That should be a pretty easy round for the Saints. It was a save round from Minnesota, uh, from West Virginia University. As it's going to be just a sheriff and a dream here. And only one member from the Saints died so far. If they can keep that the scenario, then they will still have full buys next round. As we did have a member only by the sheriff. So uh, it would be very good for the Saints if they can all just stay alive here. Smiley, especially on that 20 HP, should look to maybe just get out of there with his life. But now I think A77 will get pushed by the Saints. Looking for a headshot here, but can't find anything just yet. He's getting flanked now. Does he have any idea? Yes, he does. Looks around the corner. Does not find the shot onto Tello. St. Clair take the 2-0 lead here. As expected, as now they're going to look to play for the bonus. They're going to play for that bonus indeed. And now with two on the board after pistol. Let's see really how things go, barring an upset. It's looking like the real Valorant starts now. We're seeing that Soba buy that Odin. That's the classic play over there. We're seeing Tillo still have that Sheriff on board. Not going to go for an upgrade. Kind of interesting there. Feeling very comfortable relying on his team for the kills. Overall, going for a split push once again. It's going to be a big round. Yeah, and Tillo will just jump out of there. You don't really want to see your Sova dying first. So I think a very interesting play there from Tillo there doesn't have a weapon, doesn't use any utility, and just goes down immediately. Now Saints are stuck in the 4v5 snare here. Can they find a pick up mid here? No, Dinks will be the one to find Caillou. Saints dropping like flies here and just haven't gotten anything to go on this attacking side. He's Smiley looking for the shot onto Dinks. Instinct will come as well, and now that Jet is quite the pickle. Must be able to get out of there. No, she decides to stick there. Has the dash on beautiful wow. one tap there onto Instinct. Takes his head off as Saints are just getting slaughtered in this round. Inox will find Smiley. Now it's gonna be a one to five for Truth. Yeah, the Saints getting torn to shreds here. It's all down to Truth. Has to find some way to make this at least expensive for West Virginia, but no, that's gonna be a flawless round from West Virginia, taking them all down, turning this to a 2v1. Yeah, now the Saints will have a, uh, still a good amount of money to play with. They should be able to buy some uh, weapons here, but I think they ha they can't really have their Sova die first if they're ever gonna push through any no. side on this map, especially. Oh yeah, especially this one, but part of me wonders if that was almost planned? Because the Sova didn't buy a gun yeah, this round. They didn't upgrade. They didn't invest to that round there. It's almost like they're saying, we can sacrifice this one. Now let's but play why? real Valorant. I don't know why. I wonder they have weapons. Cooking up. Maybe they're trying to stagger the economy <laughs> so, in some way. Maybe. Maybe it's just a mental warfare type of thing. And now maybe they expect their opponents to look for that every round, but might not give it ever again and might force an overpeak. So, you know, it's Long game of Valorant, it's not all about one round, it's all about one round at a time and last round the Saints were not successful this time however, they are making a lot of space up mid, you can see how easily the Jet just walks through and there has been almost zero resistance from the side of West Virginia, Saints are getting deep and almost into their spawn. Yeah, with the alarm bot being popped though, that Kildre has a sense of where at least one of them are and now Inox holding this angle very carefully, the only smoke goes up. Ball's gonna be closed down. Instinct though, pulling a nasty cross. Now, I have a road knife trying to deactivate that sonar dart's gonna look at quite a few. It's gonna be tough to push through here against the Odin, but he's suppressed. Gonna have to back off a little bit. And now they're pushing right into mid once again. Breaking down that door. Looks like this is gonna be an A push. Everyone's mounting towards it. A77 lurking in the smoke. Do they? No, it's gonna be cleared out by Molly. Instant gonna flash oh, in. Oh, see them. 
Smoke saw him. Gonna throw to Smoke. x gets one. Tilla gets another. There's a trade behind him. We had this weird gunfight and the smoke's happening though. Smiley gets one. One more left on the site, I believe. Nice, Tillo. Be Tillo taking another one more out. Nice, there it is. Tillo. A nice triple from Tillo. Yeah, and Tillo looking to find the last there, but Dinks very, very sharp with his Valorant has been finding the headshots, but I think 1v3 might be a little bit too much for Dinks to find here still. The Saints very happy with how this round went so far. Got onto the side, found the picks, and now they force a very, very hard clutch scenario from the Jet who looks to walk into this B site and finds an opening pick onto Smiley Dinks, has been finding these shots, looks for another onto Inksting, but the truth from the other side gets the headshot there. Saints pick up a very much needed third round of the back of Tillo's 3K. Saints get a much needed win here to try and maintain their lead. Now Tillo has an ult, Smiley has an ult as well. The economy is looking very good for the Saints right now. Assuming they can win this next round, things are going to be very decisive on this round. It's going to matter a lot for the next few, as everyone's kind of down to the last little bit in the bank, especially on the side of West Virginia. They need to win this one. Yeah, it's a big round. The Saints gonna throw out that dart. It does get shot out, so now that gives the Saints a bit of knowledge that there could be someone waiting in mid here. It is Dinks. Uh, very nice shots from on the Jets. Saints definitely don't want to be just walking through this Jets sight lines. We'll use a dash a little bit early, expecting a challenge, but it doesn't look like anything from the Saints. Truth, we'll look for the one tap yet again from Dinks. Misses. This does get out of trouble, but now Saints are up deep. Instinct is going to dash into his own teammates. Sova ultimate. I don't know if that's the play, but that's a good play from Smiley. Finds the opening pick onto Gucci. The flash comes out. Instinct finds the shot there. Now Saints have a 5v3 as they push into the site, and they're getting the spike down. Getting the spike down, but they did do that with ruthless efficiency indeed. Sight gonna have to back off here. They're smoked off. They don't have too many options to push, especially with Smiley pushing up the rear here with the ult. He's wasting time here. Yeah, they're wasting a lot of time just looking for this omen. And he is here, doesn't find the kill, but just being alive in this position, that's a beautiful teleport. Now the opponents have absolutely no idea of where he could be. They do spray through the smoke, but on one HP, he gets out and there's not even a contest onto the side. Can Saints find any stragglers here? Tello finds one. No Can way. they find anything else? Smiley finds no the headshot. That's a crucial shot onto Dinks, so that's going to be another weapon that he won't be able to afford. And it's a flawless round for the Saints. A beautiful round, to say the least, as it's going to be a full save coming up from West Virginia. Beautiful mind games from Smiley as well. All things to the back line, just wasting Absolutely. time, putting all the pressure onto him. And the fact that he was just being able to get out for free and get a kill on the rotation. Absolutely amazing round from Smiley. Yeah, and he did pick up the first blood as well. Just gave Saints everything they needed to win that round. And they played perfectly off of that pressure. Now in this save round, Saints should more than certainly be taking this one home. More than certainly. Dinks does have knives though. We're gonna hear the jet knives popped off now. Watch out for that. It's gonna be a lot of pressure over on that A site. But Saints now taking a lot slower. They're not gonna rush in after hearing that jet pop their ult. You don't wanna rush into anything, get knifed for free, and get a few multi kills over to that jet. You don't want that to happen. Now Guck holding this A site down, holding the one way smoke. The Saints playing this out very well, just waiting for them to get a little too aggressive here. Yeah, they're playing the default when they have the weapon advantage. They tend to do that sometimes as they find the only real threat outside of West Virginia. Dinks does fall down as now Saints going to push through. Inox does find a pick onto Instinct, but I don't think it'll matter too much as Saints are going full speed onto this A side. There is an omen here alongside a a Sova, but Smiley will just run straight at this Omen. He does find a pick onto Truth, but one for ones are good. Four Sinclair at this point, but one for O's are until finds the trade and Smiley finds the last one. Saints go up 5 1, but they did lose a couple members on the save round. Now our quarter way through this game potentially, and wow, the Saints are looking absolutely immaculate. Everything's looking very clean, very precise, and the tactics at play here are an absolute joy to watch. But now, a lot of alts on the board for West Virginia. They got an op, they got money. This is where they need to turn it around for themselves. 
Yeah, this is a, a chance for them to get back into the game or a chance for the Saints to blow this one completely open. Let's see which is going to happen here. There is the dart. Doesn't spot out anything, which means the Saints know not too many members on this A site. The KO knife doesn't find anything else, I believe, as Tillo will look to find one with that drone. Won't find anything. Inkstein has to be careful. It's Excite and Inox find the first two picks. Truth does trade one back. Saints are fully in on this site. The plan's going to be coming down. They also have the KO ultimate. The Sova ult will actually stop the plan from going down it won't find any picks so Tillo gets himself in a very very good position now the plan from Caillou is coming down ha will have that KO ultimate ready let's see if they decide to use that one to maybe stop there's one pick no two picks way. from Tillo beautiful shots as the KO ult does come out in the end as now Saints have the advantage excite looking for some shots with the Odin can't find anything Tillo finds the third huge round from him yet again on the Sova definitely redeem redeeming himself after that second round and completely going off as excite in a 1v three spots out a couple under but just can't find the shots as Tillo gets his fourth of the round amazing <laughs> performance you can see how excited they're getting on that stage as Saints go up 6-1 <laughs> that was absolutely amazing and a timeout on the side of West Virginia is very apt especially after that four year Tillo was just playing absolutely perfectly his aim was on point the pushes the corners he took we're a little daring, I might say. I was worried that he's going to turn that corner and just the get sniped. 1v2, sniped. yeah. But he won the 1v2, peeking into it. Absolutely amazing gameplay from Tillo all around. Yeah, I mean, it's good that he's playing so well when they need him most, uh, clutching up these rounds with these picks. And uh, just great, great start for the Saints. And they have the big lead that we expected. Now it's all about holding on and expanding it and closing this map out quickly without letting West Virginia come back into it. It's all about holding that lead because we have seen them last week get like a seven point lead yeah. and somehow it gets turned around halfway through and really gave them some trouble. But now I think I have a feeling they're going to hold on to this one. They're looking very clean. They're not doing anything too crazy. They're very comfortable, they're very confident, and they're playing to their confidence very well. It's not misplaced at all. Yeah, absolutely. It's just great play from St. Clair, and they've been getting into these sites with a relative ease, not too much not too much holding them back. They always seem to find the opening pick, and they are just able to go round after round. Now it's going to be another save round from the side of West Virginia. They do have some uh, weird weapon buys, but I don't think it's going to be enough to stop the Saints. Now that Bucky can maybe get a kill or two if placed correctly, but everything else is going to be pretty tough to get something consistently. And now, seeing a push over towards A, potentially, Tillo, once again, trying to be that initiator, open up that site for everybody. And now, they're playing the long game against this omen. They're going to wait for that smoke to just run out. There's really no rush. It's up for 20 seconds or so. Burns quite a bit of time off the round, but with how the Saints are playing, they like to play fast. Yeah, the rounds when West Virginia does have a save, they tend to do a default push. They take their time, wait for a mistake, because they have the better weapons. They just, if someone wants to walk out and take a dumb challenge, we will happily take that kill. But now, you can see they will be pushing up, but Truth on the other side oh of the map gosh. here could get a good flank. He will shoot that out. So now the side of West Virginia know that there's at least a member there, but the push is coming in from the Saints. Taylor yet again finds the opening pick up there, and they should be able to find this KO. Nice shot from Smiley. Makes sure that he is dead by shooting at the body a couple extra times. There's Truth. Finds the opening, uh, another pick onto Dinks. Now it's a 5v2 scenario. Shots do come out from A77, but 1v5. It's going to be hard to win that challenge there. Taylor takes a bit of damage, gets the spike planted. It's going to be excited with that bucket as you said, it might get one or two kills, but after that, the Saints should be able to take it pretty easily. Oh, he has to place this really correctly. Gets one. Hey, you got one. He got, got his one. one. <laughs> oh, Truth is going to take him out there in the end. And now, Saints looking absolutely lethal going into this next round. Four ults on the board. All the money you could ever ask for. And they're going to need it. As now, West Virginia now has the money to buy all these ex expensive weapons. And Odin and Op. We'll see if they can make good use of them, though. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, Dinks with that Operator could be pretty scary. But he's gone cold after the first few rounds. Can't seem to find anything else to go on that jet. And Tillo, 12 and 2. Amazing performance on the Sova so far. Just finding kills left and right. It's a great job by the Saints so far. As now they're going to be looking to push into this B site. It's going to be a very, very slow push. But I think they might use a couple ultimates here to maybe blow this one wide open. This is the crack in the armor here. They can keep on pushing on this weak Close. spot here. Pressing the advantage. We can see A77 can be the one that has to you hold this run. point here, but the Killjoy all gonna push them off. They have nothing that can really answer it. A few shock darts maybe. Oh, they got it. Wow, they should get it. Good angles by this over there. Yeah, and that's gonna stop that push instantly just one sova holding off a whole team with only his basic utility it's gonna be a great start to this round for west virginia university but this could be a big gunfight there are a couple members of west virginia on this flank i don't think st Clair. oh looks like they might have some idea they swing around jet it's gonna be the first one to drop now they're gonna double triple swing they find one i don't think they'll expect wow. the second You're, no way inox only finds one. Oh, he does find the second however and picks up the sova it's a great great double flank there from West Virginia and they definitely caught the Saints off guard they take the round and that was just pick, uh, perfect play there from West Virginia University yeah, that was just a perfect play all around I mean they did not expect that second person oh no, that was that was great mind games by West Virginia and that's gonna give them some breathing room here not quite they're not in the lead yet but now if they can win one more round make this 7-3 maybe they can give some room for potential up with the score line here. You know, 5 7, that's not a bad half indeed. But now, they're going to go for the expensive guns once again. Line it up, and hopefully, the Saints walk right into their trap once again. Oh, oh, oh. you know, <laughs> they had what we had. <laughs> they had what we had. That was going to be a kill. But it's a great smoke. Nonetheless, instinct. Gonna look for the shots again. They are double stacking again. And I don't think Saints expected it this time as well. Tillo does find the first pick, but look at this. They're both in that corner and three Saints just getting caught by the double team again. Yeah. Smiley will fall and, you know, like we said, it's Saints starting to fall apart after getting the big lead. Kind of two rounds in a row that they just lost without really even having the round it just yeah it was not it was very quick very yeah. decisive and i think the weakness here that west virginia has figured out just put two guys in two the guys corner, in any corner. <laughs> and the saints won't check it twice they won't do a double take yeah very forward thinking but overall west virginia playing very well indeed funneling the saints into these spots where they have the two guys in the corner is really where the key plan is absolutely and if they win this round they put themselves in a very good position to make this a 7-5 half because saints won't be able to buy again so i think this round is here is crucial for the safe both momentum wise and just like game wise you need this round to maintain this advantage you have ops gonna go for the swing dinks finally finds a miss onto that one the knives have been pulled out by instinct there's dinks finding the opening shot onto smiley he's really been causing the saints a good amount of trouble with this operator they just can't seem to find any swings into him but Gucci is in a bit of a dangerous position here I'm wondering if the Saints have any idea he's here the Saints probably do they're very wary of these corners I think there's a little bit of trauma there you don't <laughs> want to have that happen once I don't again. know he's not looking there maybe maybe you're telling yourself no way there's a guy in that corner oh no way goes. he's not looking he hears the drone peeks it at the right moment takes out Tillo that's a key player out of the game no more Silva is going to be rough yeah, and these are just corners that you don't expect the people of the highest level to play. And you're like, oh, that's a corner. And why would anyone play there? That's such <laughs> that's an a easy kill. Corner. Yeah, it's a new corner. But, you know, it's a bit of mind games when you're at the highest level. Like, Sight has that Odin. That's not the best entry there for Mingsting. Caillou does find a couple back in this 1v5 scenario. Can maybe find the third here against the Odin. Yes, he is able to find it now. 1v2 does have the spike available here. It'll be amazing clutch here from Caillou. Almost finds the opening shot onto the jet. Finds the headshot. Oh. Now, 1v1 scenario has 
an idea that Omen Zero finds it. Beautiful 1v5 is from Caillou as he brings that around from the dead. <laughs> and St. Clair are definitely going to be excited about that one. I cannot believe that. What a showing from Caillou. Staying level ahead and getting the double. I think as soon as he got that third kill, he knew it was possible. He had three kills all game before that. Jeez, that was absolutely amazing. Yeah, he's woken up now. I think that was a little bit of a warm-up period. Yeah. Now, there's nothing cold left in the heart of Caillou. It's all warmed up now. And with the alt on the ready after that round, let's see what he can do when he has two lives left. Yeah, they might bait the old Killjoy ultimate onto the B site and then just push A, but I think if they just push the site, the Omen ult, uh, the, the Killjoy ult will be best. Things here with the Operator, though, they won't be able to get that Killjoy ultimate off, oh, but Instinct finds a trade up mid onto Inox. Turns into a 4v4. Yet again, the swing comes through from Gucci, but it's instantly trade out by Caillou. K ultimate is popped by Caillou now. Will look to push through here. Puts himself in a beautiful position. Waiting for this Killjoy to swing. Gets the pick. Now it's 3v2 for the same spike is down, and they put themselves in the prime position to make this a 9-3 half. They're in a really good position here. Sending the drone, has the info they need, and knows the Silva's in the backside. Salvo now can use one of his own drones with Dinks leading the charge here with the knives. Has some info from his teammate. Gonna throw out another cloud. Or two. Try. They need some picks here. They need to take this out. Down to... Oh, nice headshot. Two. And yeah, Tillo cleaning that up beautifully. And 9 3 is going to be Switching our scoreline for the half. A beautiful half from the Saints. Sure, they had a few rounds there where they're a little shaky, not their best showing, but definitely in that last round, you could tell the Saints are playing their Saints game. Yeah, I think after that Caillou 1v5, the momentum of, <laughs> like, it was a couple rounds one in a row for West Virginia. They were on the verge of winning their third and just probably making a 7-5 half. Saints would have had to save to Caillou pulling out a 1v5, and that's just a game-changing a play. Beautiful ace there, turning snowballs into a very easy round on the follow-up, and Saints found a lot of success when they just pushed straight into those uh, sites, kind of not too much resistance from uh, West uh, Virginia, but now it's going to be flipped sides. The Saints look to put their foot down on this defense, and it's looking like maybe a middle push from the side of West Virginia. Side of West Virginia is going to be making a push up here through mid over to A. A lot of pressure. Seeing Smiley prepping at Paranoia. As soon as he hears a bullet, oh. he's going to push it. Caillou <laughs> got the triple flash, but not quick enough to pull out his gun. Get the trade. Get the trade, though. Falling back onto this A site. They're going to get a plant with little to no resistance. Now Saints have to play retake. It's not going to be an easy retake here. They have to break this door down. They have no idea that there's nobody mid, but they have to spend time looking there. As actually, there is a Sova on the Giga flank through mid. Saints need to go relatively quickly. Can they see that jet? No, they won't be able to. There comes the smoke. Truth will put down some suppressing fire, but the Saints have to hit the goal button soon. They don't have too much time to play with here as the spike is sticking down. They're going to drop down. Dings finds one. Does get traded out. Another one under here. They know there's a double peak this time. Now it's Still a four, a 3v2. The defuse needs to come through this. They know the Sova's in that corner. They will find that kill. No, they won't. It's a 1v2 now. Saints taking their sweet time. It definitely comes back to bite them as it's going to be the first round going over to West Virginia as they look to come back in the map. Yeah, West Virginia winning the first attack here for themselves. And Saints didn't look too good there. They kind of gave sight up. Little to no contestation. It's going to be a tough road back from here. They're going to have to go for a big save, buying some sheriffs to try and make it expensive at least. Maybe take out a vandal or two here, get some upgrades. But overall, this is going to be a rough second round for them. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like a full-on B push. It's going to be just truth on this Killjoy, trying to defend this one to the best of their abilities as the push isn't going to come through just yet. Truth looking for a headshot there does get detected and suppressed, so can't use any abilities for the time being. But the rest of the Saints are staying firm on A. They're hoping that West Virginia University are bluffing this B push and just fall into their trap. As they take the old orb here, uh, Sova getting closer to that ultimate, very strong on this map, and it looks like side of West Virginia are going to rotate over to mid and maybe, just maybe, make their way into the Saints trap.
Yeah, the Saints laying out oh, a no. trap, but no, that was a fake out <laughs> rotate. Just, you know, seeing if there's anybody going on their rear, but not quite. There's no flanks happening here. The Saints holding their ground over on A, and hey, they're running out the clock for now. They need to try and stop this plan from happening. If they can just play for time, the Saints will do so. But now they're moving quick, oh, they're running no. out of time. They found truth. truth a, this is in a really bad spot. Oh, oh, almost finds one. Almost got one, but not quite. That's gonna be Anox. 30 seconds left. Now the Saints have to retake 4v5. They only got a couple of sheriffs to their name here. Will not be easy, to say the least. Gucci in a very, very good position with the Spectre, which is so good. Up close here, Caillou, I think, knows he's there, but only so much you can do about that one as the push is looking to come through. Are they going to find the opening pick? Yes, they do. The Dinks does find the trade back. Smiley with the classic here getting up close. Caillou finds a pick onto Dinks so they can pick up that weapon. Now Saints have a 3-3 and Caillou finds another one. Now it's a 3v2. A 3v1 one. and it's low HP on the wow. Sova. Saints are going to be able to pull off the save round and go up 10-4 as they get the, some, the, themselves so much closer to winning the map. And they get themselves some good weapons. That's going to be a lot of money in their yeah. pocket, a lot of money in the bank. Being able to carry those into the next round is absolutely huge. And now the Saints just three rounds away from closing this one out. And West Virginia does not have the time to spare. They don't have the money to spare to try and contest this. Yeah, Inox did save that round, so he will have a Vandal. But you must think to yourself, maybe if they had one extra weapon on that defense of the spike after they planted it could have swung the whole round so maybe a crucial mistake there that just loses them the round and ox gonna be the hero vandal going into this round needs to turn it around for his team needs to at least try and take out a few make it expensive now they're pushing through mid leaving spike spike down just playing for picks seeing where they can open up this map map for themselves Seeing Guck move over here with this team. That's a big push through Tree. If Smiley plays this right, this would be absolutely massive for his team. Yeah, the swing comes through. Smiley doesn't even want to challenge as that one knows. Only one person on the side of West Virginia could afford a weapon. And that if he just stays alive, it's going to be easier for his team to find the picks against these unarmed combatants as Tello is here up on this B side, looking to push through the hallway. But it looks like the University of West Virginia just can't seem to make up their mind. But I think going through tree into A is going to be their play. Yeah, into A is going to be the choice here. Instinct watching the wrong angle, but he hears the footsteps. Reps the dash, gets one. Can he get oh, more? It's a slaughter. Smiley. It's just a slaughter, you're right. They need to take out the one threat, he's done. Gets one taken out, but he has one HP left to his name. One bullet will spend the spell the end for Excite here. And that is going to be that. Truth getting the final kill of the round. 4 to 11. No money to their name. This is looking very dire for West Virginia. Yeah, and this is practically game point because the money on West Virginia it's not good, I think, if the Saints just win this one. They do win the map and Instinct, knowing that, will pick up that operator on the jet. So it's going to be very hard for the side of West Virginia to push into anything. Saint, uh, West Virginia, though, they do have an ultimate to work with. They have that Sova ultimate. They can find a pick or two with that and maybe blow the round open. They can put themselves in a position to bring back into this game. It's not unwinnable, but it's going to be very, very tough, especially with like no more rounds left to lose. They got one more in the bank, so they need to start winning now. They won't have any chance. Oh, what a it. shot. No, there isn't. It's going to be tough. Blinded, he makes it back unharmed. Got fun the trade, though. It's a 4v4. Yeah, truth will be found down. That will give another weapon to Inox there, who will go for the plant to kill Joy. Beautiful timing on that swing. He's seeing no idea. But Tillo does get a trade. It's still going to be hard for the Saints to retake here. Beautiful shots from Kai, though. Finds one, finds the second. Can he find a third? No. Guess get a good damage off on this Omen, who's now in a 1v2. Great position. I don't think Saints know he's there, but now they do. And in a 2v1, should be nearly impossible. Saints put themselves on map point. And that's going to be a save round for West Virginia. So should be relatively easy to close out this map. Should be wrapped up in this this next round, but there's always room for some upsets. True. You know, we've seen Saints, you know, 
throw a couple of rounds We've before the that. end. The nerves set in, right? And, you know, the nerves I don't know set if it's in the for nerves. The <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, it's going to be super tough for West Virginia here to even take another round. I mean, they have vandals. They have vandals. They have some stuff they can use here. They have that Omen ult. I don't think I've seen them use the Omen ult this entire game. Yeah, I don't know. So, We'll see if they can use that tiny effectiveness here. Of course, we have the Silva ult, so that can be a game changer. But it's all up to how they play this out. Yeah, they do have a couple Guardians and a Bulldog because they just want to be able to buy all the utility some times. Oh, that's could have been the shot from Ingston, but it's a nice TP from the Omen. To dodge that out, there comes the Silva ultimate. Doesn't find anything there. Doesn't find... Oh, oh finds a tag onto Ingston, forces out the dash, so that's good. Getting the Jets dash out, who has the operator good. Now the Jets gonna dash in for the side of uh, University of West Virginia, but Ingston is on the flank with the knives. Has no idea the Jet is in there, so does now the knives now pop by Diggs. Does take some shots and falls down to Smiley. 4v3 now for the Saints, as University of West Virginia not successful on their initial push not very successful at all you know they took out the jet knives but couldn't get much util of their own Kaio finding a one it's just a 2v4 at this point and that's gonna be it the Saints taking this map for 13 to 4 absolutely amazing first map for them yeah, I mean, some uh, bumps here and there, but at the end of the day, it is 13 to 4. So, very, very good map from them, as you said, and a very, very clean one. Uh, kind of what we expected. And, uh, you know, last week kind of was the same thing, but map 2, they kind of <laughs> fell apart. So, uh, hopefully, this time in map 2, they can really lock in and uh, really show why they're the best. Yeah, I think that was a really good match all around, Absolutely. though. West Virginia made St. Clair have to adapt time and time again throughout that match. You know, you could, they played very default at the beginning, very, you know, by the book. And then West Virginia woke up to that, started taking some crazy corners here. But overall, you know, the Saints did adapt once again yeah. to their very aggressive Saints play style, and they closed it out. But we're not done yet. That's just map, map one. We have another map or two on the way. But before we begin that, we're going to throw it over to a very quick break. Be back with more Valorant.
What's the map? Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. We are just about to get into map two. Saints took the map pretty convincingly, 13 to 4. So now in the second map, they're going to look to keep things rolling the same way. Yeah, here in the second map, it should be pretty interesting. You know, Ascent, there's not much room to play around. There's no gimmicks here. So if we're going into the second map, that does have one of those gimmicks, gimmicks you know, like, like Bind or something else. We could see some wacky hijinks, but no, it's going to be Haven. The gimmick there is it's one of the three-point maps. A yeah. lot more room to attack, and that's going to be the Saints starting attack once again. Honestly, I think they're looking pretty confident going into this next one. Yeah, and we're going to see the team compositions this time. It's going to be a tiny bit different. The only change, Yoru going to be the option. And the Viper for the side of the Saints. And on the flip side, West Virginia going to have that Neon and the so uh, sorry the Breach this time. So uh, kind of different util for both sides here. As Saints opting to go for the Viper as their main really wall and it's going to be Breach as the kind of big util guy here for the side of West Virginia. So it's going to be interesting between those two operators who right can there. get more value on this map. Yeah, it's all about value here. I think Viper gets more value here. I agree. You know, there's some walls here, of course. There's some nasty things you can do with that. But overall, Viper can just cut off entire points here. Just allow for so much more flexibility and rotations and where you can put your angle of attack yeah it matters how well i think the saints use the viper wall they have three points to attack so the viper wall is useful no matter what where you put it even as a bait as it is this round it's going to be just sitting cutting off b and a because i think saints left the spike in spawn on purpose they will put some fake pressure onto c i think maybe then rotate over through garage yeah gonna rotate over through here to mid B. Of course, you have that Viper wall up there. If you do end up choosing that side, you're able to cut off any rotations uh -oh. from A. And with the smoke coming out from the other side, they're cutting off any support B could have. Gonna try and clear out Garage first though, or at least here if anybody's out there. Oh, Stop Caillou. Oh no, my God. Pretty much got a running headshot right there. Beautiful play from Caillou. Gets one nice. trade out there. Oh, nice Garage. That spike down. That's a really good pick from West Virginia. Oh, another headshot. And a triple kill. Four dinks here on that Neon. That's a great, great play so far from the duelist player from West Virginia. He's definitely been kind of their one rising, uh, one star that's been sticking out, finding some beautiful shots. But now in this corner, will Caillou check it? Yes, he does. Finds the headshot. Saints still have a 2v1 scenario here. And beautiful shots wow. from Caillou. This round finds Inox. The pistol round goes over to the Saints as they look to keep the ball rolling. You know, there's been that meme of Saints not winning pistol rounds, but that's been coming less and less yeah. accurate. So they are cleaning up these pistol rounds very consistently as of late. Now, with that extra money in the bank, they're going to buy a Vandal. They're going to buy a few extra guns. Instinct going for the outlaw. Yeah, and I think we're going to see um, a default, which is what they usually tend to do when they have the advantage uh, economy-wise. But looks like they will make their way over to see they have the outlaw. So they can get the spike down on this long sight line. That would be... A uh, beautiful start to this round. It doesn't look like Saints are going to go too quickly, though, as they know they c any gunfight they really take where it's even at the beginning, they should be winning with the weapons they have. Very well should, especially with this outlaw, able to take anybody out. Oh, no. <laughs> Single hit, but Dillo just spraying down with a ghost gets a kill from long range. And just continuing to apply a lot of pressure over on that sea long I've never seen someone hold C-Long on attack with a ghost like that. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely great Excite. accuracy. Excite in a really risky spot here. Going to try and go for a cheeky corner shot. Oh, no, wrong corner. <laughs> Doesn't get it, though. Goes for two right click smile. Going to shut that right down. Yeah, Saints definitely learning their lesson with the corners. They check both sides. And only one member this time, thankfully, for the Saints. But plant should be going down 5v3. No weapons for the side of West Virginia. Should be a pretty easy round from the Saints from here on out. 
should be on paper, but there's always a room for error. If the Saints get a little too confident here, they might let things slip away. And this is a round they don't want to be too expensive here. Yeah, they don't want to die. As much as you can to the next round. Yeah, and you could see West Virginia are not even attempting to retake. They know it's virtually impossible. They're just waiting for someone who gets a bit too greedy and looks for these kills, and they find one. Tillo is going to be the one to drop, making this round a little bit more expensive maybe than it should have for the Saints, but they will take the round. They will go up to 0, and yet again, they will be looking for that bonus to blow this game wide open. Looking for the bonus to have that. Oh, another death. Ruth, hold that long sight. Going to be taken out. Bomb's going to go off, though. Another death. Things thing died. Wow, there's only two left. A quick shot from Guck. Gets some very key picks there. Yeah. I have to agree with you there. Saints losing some lives there that maybe they definitely should not have. But even though that was the case, they still have a couple Vandals and a... Uh, a, a lot of chance to win this round. They will buy the Stinger there, as well as the Guardian on Instinct. So, still a lot of firepower for the Saints, but probably could have been a little bit more if they played that last round a bit more passive. Yeah, and again, on this third round, they're going for a weird save round almost, even though they have money in the bank for more. I think if this is an economic play here. Now going into all the phantoms on the enemy team. They have to make this as expensive as possible if they cannot turn this Nice back. shot. Beautiful shot from Kaio indeed. A trade oh, comes no. through, 4v4 is on the board. We see Inox holding this garage very carefully, very tightly. You know West Virginia, they love these corners. And I gotta hope the Saints are starting to wisen up to this. Yeah, the spike is not picked up by the Saints just yet, so they don't really know where they want to go just yet, but it looks like A is completely open. The swing's going to come through from Caillou. This is going to be a huge, huge 1v1 here. Doesn't find the omen, though. Gucci doing a great job. Does throw down that smoke and will get out of there. Scar free is beautiful play from that omen so far in this round. Definitely making an impact here. I don't know if this is where you want to head to, this Truth. There's a couple members here. Will go for the swing. Does get spotted out. I don't think he has, did see the enemy kills here, though. But since he did get spotted out smartly, will run away as Saints get onto the A site. They will get the plant down. But it's going to be pretty hard to hold this 3v4. It's going to be pretty hard indeed. Oh. Going to get the plant down, potentially. Yeah, there it is. But Guck getting another life on the board. Three kills just going over to him. Everyone running it down in the middle of the map. Bomb is down. It's a 4v2. It's not unwinnable, but it's going to be a hard one to win. Yeah, Tello's going to have to go completely ballistic on this. Needs to have some trigger finger discipline. Finds a couple, but did get stunned up, unfortunately. So I don't think there was any more he could really do there. The flash comes through instant in a very dangerous position here. Throws the flash over and completely blind. Inox finds the headshot around. We'll go over to West Virginia University. But Saints were able to make it a little bit expensive. Still, it's just a one-two game at the end of the day. And, uh, and that's, kind of, I think, why the Saints went for the save round, you know? If you win it, it really devastates the enemy's economy, but if you lose it, you have enough to stay pace with them. Now you have enough to buy the vandals that you want, full shields, everything else. You're pretty much good for the rest of the game for a few more rounds, so in a very good spot. This is where they need to take the lead back, though. They have no more money left in the bank, nothing left to save. This is where you need to win. Absolutely, they do have the Sova ultimate ready to go, but on the flip side, Dinks, one kill away from that ultimate, uh, Neon ultimate, could be very, very scary. Let's see if Instinct can find anything very early on. No, the swings from A are only going to be for a second from that Sova. Gucci yet again up mid here. I feel like every time they've had a member there, it's been good for the Saints. They've been able to find that pick on that little uh, corner there. And let's see. If the Omen will make it out alive this time, Excite will use that a drone, won't find anything, and maybe now Saints might choose to just push a site where they haven't been spotted. Yeah, it's all about pushing here. Excite pushing up a long, gonna decide to roll back with his teammate, as Instinct does have a good angle here. Maybe there's a sixth sense tingling there. The Saints once again playing default. Trying to punish overextensions, but I think West Virginia is starting to wisen up to that. Play very defensively. They're on the defense. They can play for time here. 
Yeah, I'm surprised the Saints are playing so slowly. They were finding a lot of success when they played with pace, but let's see how they decide to attack here. Only 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Three members are going through a garage, and only one member, the Killjoy, is on the actual site. Saints just walk in. They do get a smoked out, but Gucci can find anything. The spray instinct does fall down. The Sova ult does come out on the flip side. Tillo looking for something, finds one. Completely blind in truth. Picks up A77. The spike, though, has not been, been planted yet. They need to get this one down as soon as possible. That nade will hurt Tillo. He has four seconds. Needs to get this one down. Two seconds and taking. You see, they're trying to stop that plant from coming through, but it is planted as Truth finds a couple. Caillou does fall, but now it's a 1v3 situation for Excite. They got the plant down, Excite, in a 1v3 situation. Two of them are very low, just one place bullet, but now it's going to be one Four bullet kills. placed on his head by Truth. Four kills. Beautiful round for Truth. And a little bit of panic there from the Silva. You know, you, of course you want to plant the defaults so you can get your lineups and all that. But when the clock is running that close, you just got to get that bomb down. He's so lucky he was able to get it down in time. Yeah, Saints in a very, very close round there. But in the end, 3v1, they do take it home. Now it's a save round for West Virginia University. The Saints are going to look to really blow up this game and take a huge lead. Yeah, this is looking very similar to the last Round, last game in the series. The Saints just know how to manipulate the economy very well. Make sure they're always on top. Excite shooting some shots out with the Sheriff. Gok going on the oh, offensive here. That's dangerous. Going into the corner. He doesn't have a shorty or anything that can, can confirm a kill. He's got that frenzy. He's got to be very accurate here. Yeah, I mean, the Saints aren't going to push it at all even. So it won't really matter that he's in a very, very dangerous position there. I think Saints know they have the weapons. Might just look for a mid push and get that plant down. Cost some chaos, but they've been loving to taking this garage spot. It's been very, very hard to take, but they've been getting in there. there. Tillo does get spotted out. Dinks only has a shorty. Uses his first two shots and now is running for his life. Gucci, though, in that <laughs> non-dangerous position, has snuck into the spawn of the Saints, and they have complete no idea that there is someone oh here. What this trigger is great. Discipline. Trigger discipline. He just have, gets found by Tillo. <laughs> but Tillo goes for the knife and could have just thrown this round away for oh. his team as three members get picked off. That Smiley does find a couple. Nixon finds a couple. Turns into a 2v2. <laughs> but still, a lot of work to do to win this round for the Saints now. All hell is broke loose. It's absolute chaos here on the battlefield. One left. It's a 1v2. So many What's weapons be? on the ground. He must have upgraded here. He has. He has a Vandal in his hands. 13 seconds left. The plant needs to go down. It's going to be a close one, though. As he's not very close at all. Going to go for the TP. Five seconds left. The plant should be able to go down. But NSYNC seals the deal. I mean, Saints made that round way too difficult for themselves. <laughs> Tillo going for the knife there could have been a huge mistake. It's still going to hurt. It hurts your economy a lot. Where When you when the enemy team is on a save round and you just die a couple deaths that you probably shouldn't have de had, it's, it's definitely crushing, but that could give West Virginia just the tiniest bit of momentum to maybe bring themselves back into this one is they're going to have a full buy from both sides. This round is crucial no matter who wins it. That was a bit of a ego play there that is, might sting later on, you know, if the Saints don't keep up their momentum. Dinks has the ult as well in the back pocket if need be. But, oh, wow. Hunting. Already on the site, they just move really quick. Somehow read their play like a book. All of them went for a push over a long. Now Saints in an awkward position where they're just hovering around in this mid section, even though they have spiked down. Yeah, they have spiked down. There's now these new chill. Oh my goodness, Dinks flies through, finds one, finds the second, and Saints have to be careful of instinct. They have no idea that he's here. Finds one onto the omen. Gets flashed out, but just needs to stay alive here if possible. Does have his life. Is able to stay alive, and Smiley's still on this point. Not a lot of time left. The Dinks with a beautiful shot. Caillou falls as well. It's going to be Smiley now in the 1v5. Throws out the smoke. Finds one. Can he find the second? No. And somehow they're, the round's going to be won by West Virginia University as Saints just completely fell apart. Yeah, that was a beautiful start for the Saints. It looked unwinnable for West Virginia, but the flank came through. I think the Saints weren't expecting they weren't that, expecting but if they, if they just took B, if they solidified their and B push, all went there. if they all went there, played a little bit more defensively, a little bit more confident, Absolutely. would have had that round for sure. 
Yeah, I think the flank from West Virginia is really what won them that round. I think if Saints knew that they were getting flanked and they set up on the point with all the utility they have, they have a Viper and they have a, a Omen, anything they need, they have. So it would have been very hard to retake. But in the end, West Virginia with a beautiful round and now Saints. Looks like they forced up a buy here. Guardian can be purchased as they will find the opening pick on to Gucci. They don't have the spike, however, so they can get on there and plant that one. Immediately, they will pick up the orb. But Saints do have the opening pick to the start of the round. They have the opening pick. Not going to be playing very quickly at all, though. Just waiting for another pick to try and whittle them down to three. Truth here in the mid knows they're getting a little bit anxious to find something. Here's some jumps yeah. potentially. Pings it for his team. Knows that this is it. Needs to play this perfectly. Toxin's if they lose any members here, it's going to be a tough claw. Tough way back. And now, it's just all at a standstill right now. Playing very carefully. Don't want to give up any lives. Yeah, Saints gonna have this C site completely for free. They will have the spike down again. This time, I believe they will be able to find the post plant defense. Sobol does come through, doesn't hit anyone on the first charge, just misses on the third charge as well. Dings looks for some shots, so the smoke doesn't find anything. Is he gonna push through? Finds a beautiful shot there onto Dings. Now it's a 5v2 situation for the Saints. Smiley gets out even when stunned up. Very, very clean plan from the Saints. Now should be nearly impossible for West Virginia to take over. Should be, but we've seen crazier things happen. Things have this site locked down, but a few of them are quite hurt. Box. You gotta hit those shots. <laughs> gotta hit those. That happens, that happens. You're not expecting Omen running full speed with <laughs> I mean, a knife behind you. <laughs> and now Smiley just amping up, repositioning for the team, putting a lot of pressure on this backside. And oh. they're just playing for saves now. Oh, can he find this headshot? Would be nice. No, Inox in the end does find the pick and finds a couple. So, gonna hurt the economy of the Saints as they get a little bit too greedy there at the end. But they do take the five to lead on attack. Still need to keep the pressure on if they want to really blow this game up. And now, looking at the economy, you're starting to feel that knife play a little bit more. Yeah. You're not able to buy those full shields. You're not able to buy a full kit as you should. And now these rounds that are already close are getting closer and closer and a little bit too close for comfort for the Saints. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they are still winning and uh, they're up 5-2. So doing a great job of getting rounds on the board, but maybe not as clean as they would like. Losing a couple members too many maybe on rounds where they just shouldn't. Yeah, it's very expensive each and every round, it seems, even when they're trying to play their best. West Virginia just knows how to get these little corner shots, these little... <laughs> like whittling them away one by one economically by making it as expensive as possible. You know, the Saints always are going for these kill plays. Like just in the last round that they saw, they didn't have to go searching, you know. They wanted to to prevent any saves, but, you know, after you lose that one pick, maybe you don't send another guy when yeah. he's already at a good angle, you know. Yeah, I mean, they tried. It didn't work out. They'll try it again probably next time, yeah. and it might work out. So just didn't work out for them uh, that last one. As you said, now they won't, can't all afford the full shields like they would like to. And on the flip side, West Virginia also aren't doing too good economically. No. They do have a good amount of money in the save, but they're just choosing not to buy these full shields. Maybe that will come back to bite them in this round. We shall have to see Dinks Who's next? moving in very closely here, still waiting on that ult. Just popping Yoru ult, getting oh. a lot of information for the team. Back site here, they secured A with relatively no resistance. Oh! Wow. Flick. Oh. Beautiful flick and X <laughs> the wrong corner. <laughs> corner shot once again. You got to check your corners. Good reminder of the Saints every single time it happens. And now. They have to know he's here, right? He's locked down. I don't think they know that they he's do. here. What? Even That's after crazy. he gets the corner That's kill. Crazy. And he has this giga flank. Finds one. I don't I don't know how that even happens, but he does find three Another. kills. And this is just great play from Excite on the flank. Runs out of bullets though, so Smiley will pick up that kill. Has the gun in hand to clutch this up. That Phantom has no bullets, by the way. He should reload that one. There it is. Will TP in place, but is gonna get pushed. Does find bullets! They walk right in front of 
one another and another round that West Virginia kind of should have had falls to a beautiful clutch there from Smiley in the 1v3 scenario and that's a heartbreaker for West Virginia a beautiful flank from Ex Excite there finds three kills and even after all that it's not enough to win the round I think Saints might have gotten to them in that round and I think we might see a bit of a stomp from now on I think so hey we see the benefits of the double pick peak and right there we yeah. see the double pick the double pick uh, it's not the best thing to happen and now the Saints are comfortably do it again? in the lead TP uh, mid? I think that's a TP mid yep. yeah there it is good coverage no one really there to punish the dart on the clone is absolutely crazy <laughs> that's genius genius play walking through moving scans whole nother character right there instinct covering this garage yeah this time this should be a way easier hold but the killjoy ultimate will come out for the defenders even though they are in a save instinct does just flash and takes out yes a pick it does go down but i think that's worth turning your life for the defuse though is coming through they find the pick half of the bomb has been defused so spike has to be careful here tillo just jumps out of the way gucci finds a pick inox gets to trade it and smiley finds a couple it's only gonna be gucci on the flank here nice shots from caillou saints find that round relatively easy but considered it was a save round for west virginia probably a little bit harder than expected yeah a little bit Harder than I think they were hoping for, but they cleared a few alts off the board. They got rid of that Neon alt, they got rid of the Killjoy alt, probably the two. Uh, actually, uh, they have one more alt that is probably the most uh, worrisome on the board, but that's two big alts off the board. Now, just have to worry about this Breach alt, which it's, it's such an expensive alt, so strong. It's always stressful on when you should use it for if you're West Virginia. Quick thing I want to point out, if you take a look at the kills, there's not a big difference in total kills and deaths in this map so far. And Saints are up 7-2. So, I mean, they're doing a great job of planting the bomb and denying uh, West Virginia from doing anything. But here is the opening pick onto Instinct. Gucci finds it. But Saints weren't even planning on going to that CSA anyway, I don't think. They are making their way up A, but the Killjoy utility is here to defend against it. So, I think this can be quite a hard round for the Saints to take down. I think they still might be able to do it. They have two very strong alts. True, on the, the board Viper here. alt. Yeah. Viper or Killjoy, they have two very big ways to clear the site. There it is. The Killjoy ult has been popped. But it doesn't fully cover heaven here. We got the breach still waiting. There's the Viper ult. Lying for the perfect moment. Viper ult on the board. Inox has no way of seeing onto the site with the Viper ult and the Omen smokes. There's just too much going on here. And a quick thing, they have the Sova ult as well. I'm surprised Tillo used it so early. Didn't want to save it for the last second defuse. Could that come back to bite them? I think he just wanted to find that early pick, but I don't know how important that is. Killjoy, they have all the ult, uh, all the utility they could ever want, and they should be able to defend this one. Smiley finds one, Tillo finds a second, the third comes out, Dinks falls down, and that is the round going over to the Saints. They do lose a couple members, but using their ultimates and utility Properly, they take it down a huge eight to lead for them the first half. And that was a massive round as well. Now yeah. West Virginia's economy is devastated. Yeah. You know, you could have been asking yourself, oh, why'd they use so many alts there? Yeah. It's needed to, to win, win that, that round. It was imperative. Yeah, and it's the right play for sure. I mean, you, you, it's not often you get on a site for free and you just can dro drop that Viper ultimate, yep. especially on attack. It's some, it's an ult you will see once a half, mm -hmm. and that was a perfect time to use it. They also had that Sova ult just in case for emergency, but they used it a little bit too early, I, I would say. But I would say. still, in the end, they win the round, so it doesn't uh, affect it too much. And now Saints, as you said, have a huge eco advantage. They should be able to walk onto any site they want realistically and take it with relative ease. Yeah, now it's going to be an A push for the Saints. They want to get onto the site. They want to clear it off as soon as possible. And there's not going to be too many guns there to contest them. It's going to be A77 here with the Sheriff being their main source of resistance. The Molly goes out. Instinct TPs on. He takes all the ground he and wants. The and now they're able to get the plant off pretty much for free. Yeah, a bit of damage does go down onto Caillou. A lot of damage goes down onto Caillou, but he does live. All he needs is one HP and a Vandal. You can find a much uh, value as Heaven will be taken by West Virginia, but I think Saints are going to be peaking Heaven anytime soon. 
So they just need a way for them to come in, no real weapons for West Virginia, so they can't really take these aggressive angles and look for the headshots. Thinks will be the first one to drop. Instinct, though, will turn on him. Tillo does fall down, but it might be a little bit too late for West Virginia to find anything. Can the shots come through for the Saints? A nice shot from Gucci, but Smiley is there for the trade. And there is the round going into the Saints. They're up 9-2, and it's going to be the round, the last round of the half coming right up. Yeah, if this somehow, if not somehow, if this turns into a 10 to a half. I think this series is as good as over. The Saints are playing absolutely perfectly. Near as perfect as you could play yeah. in this situation. I mean, West Virginia, very good at winning these gunfights, but the Saints' tactics, tactical advantage, I think, is just cut above the rest. And I think in the clutch, Saints have just been astronomically better. In these like 1v2, 1v3 situations, they've just found rounds that they maybe should not have been able to find. Tillo, oh my goodness, Excite finds a couple with that Sova ultimate. That's going to probably win them the round as Smiley does find one. I was just talking about the clutch of the Saints. Will they be able to clutch up this 2v5? They find a couple and they have the Seaside complete for free, but I don't think they have any idea that West Virginia University are all right behind them. They need to start booking it down this sea long if they're caught off guard here. Things are not going to be looking good. Oh, wow. Oh, he turns two. around, finds one. It's a 2v2. They're turning it around. They have Spike ready to be put down no on the still, site. I think. Spike planted. I think they don't know how many oh, are coming from the flank. This is the shots they know now. Can they play around it? Yeah, Smiley will look for the swing, finds one. Beautiful shot now. 2v1 a scenario. Exile. Excite does find the pick, but Smiley with his fourth kill of the round. And we were speaking, I was speaking of the clutches right before the round. 2v5 scenario off the bat, off of a huge ultimate of Excite. And it just doesn't matter at all. I think the Saints are just completely running away with this one. As Smiley is 18 and 4. Definitely the star player here in this map, too, for the side of the Saints. Yeah, that is a very good half. That's about as good of a half as you could ask for if it wasn't an absolute wipe there. But now, it's all up to this pistol round. If they can win this pistol round, they'll be up 12 to two. Yeah. One more round. They have all the rounds in the world to burn. They can play as aggressive as they want. Which they will. Which they will. <laughs> and I think it's been rewarded for them. Their aim is on point. They're able to back up these yeah. crazy plays today. Yeah, I must agree with you. Matthias Saints have been playing beautifully today. I'll say it again and again in these clutch scenarios, which is where they've really thrived. Oh, yeah, Thanks, though. <laughs> Antillo going to fall early as Saints. Getting maybe a bit too confident there, but a full five stack from West Virginia. They find the opening kills, should get the spike down. And now this can be a very, very hard 3v5 for the Saints to win. Instinct gives away his position. There's a couple members here waiting to swing him. The flash will come through. Nice shots here from Inox. Should be able to pick up Instinct in just a second. He is going down. Caillou does find one, finds a second, but does fall down. If Caillou could have stayed alive for a little bit longer, maybe would have been a chance, but I think Truth in the 1v3 with just a pistol won't be able to take this one let's see how he plays the clutch finds okay. the initial headshot but this one-way smoke is so dangerous as they're going to be peeking him nice stun there from the breach they don't need to peek him anymore the fuse will come through and there is the round going over to the side of west virginia a couple members too many for truth to deal with and that's the classic saints pistol round right there you know you have the confidence yeah. overflowing <laughs> And then you make these crazy turns around these corners. But now, the Saints are going to be pretty comfortable here. Finding a Marshall is an interesting choice. Maybe they're going to go for some sort of C push here. At the rest of the board, West Virginia looking to bunker down here with an outlaw. I think that one should theoretically win the trade. I mean, but <laughs> it's going to be. Headshot's a headshot. Uh, let's see. Are there going to be any headshots found? Yes, it's not going to be from Caillou because Excite did win that duel, as you said. But Truth found the headshot. Excite yet again on the Sova. You can see the power of the Outlaw there. Finds a couple kills, but Tillo, if he can hurry up. Oh, there is an alarm bot there. Let's so see if he can tur hurry up and swing that corner. Might have himself a free kill. Instinct maybe looks for something through there. Gucci is waiting for the Sova. It's going to be so hard for Tillo to find this kill against the Phantom, but he's holding on here. 
Excited with the third kill of the round with this outlaw. Maybe this is a weapon they should look more into when the Saints can't afford the shields. It's been absolutely amazing for them so far this round. It's been pretty dang good for them. West Virginia just rolling in on through, getting some momentum back here. Maybe we spoke too soon. We've seen some leads from the Saints go punched. <laughs> yeah, we've seen it. So there's always a room for improvement. Oh, that timing. Oh, wow. Through smoke. With like one second of oh, vision oh. there. No. Wait, 30 wait. seconds left. Had the flank, but just <laughs> missed the shots. And the plant now goes down for Excite. 2v3 for the Saints. They do not have the best weaponry possible for this. But Smiley, all he needs is a Sheriff. Finds a couple instinct. Can he find the 1v1? Does he have any idea where this player is? Yes, he does. That's wow. going to be another thrifty. Just like last map, they lose the pistol in the second round. Uh, in the second half. And then they win the round right after Saints. Yet again, just putting the arrow through the hearts of West Virginia as they go up 11 to 3. And with that comeback, the economy on West Virginia is going to be an absolute disarray. Meanwhile, the Saints is at an all-time high. Yeah. This is looking to be it. This, this in the next round should be the finishing blow here in the series, but West Virginia, if I know them after what I've seen, they're going to make it interesting. Yeah, definitely will not be easy for the Saints and West Virginia are not a team that is going to let themselves be run over. They do have that Sova ultimate like last time, Excite, just trying to excite his team and get them back in this map. But Saints have been shutting that down so well, uh, pretty well so far as it looks like it's going to be a C push coming out from West Virginia. C push is the play from West Virginia. Oh, and obviously some Kamali. Instant gonna get the trade right back. A77 getting one off the board. They're making an expensive play. I mean, A77 getting another. It's a 2v4. The Saints not looking to be very sharp in this matchup so far. Now, Instant gonna have to rotate over, play this very slowly. In a really bad spot here. Oh, that's bad. There he is. He's gonna be taken out by Inox. A 1v4. West Virginia around that on paper should not have been theirs. They're turning it around. Yeah, maybe they should stick to the to the cheaper weapons as they find so much success against the fully loaded out Saints and should be around going over to West Virginia. It should be almost impossible for Tello to even find anything here. Doesn't have the utility really to push through any corners. I think he's going to save the weapon here, and I think that's the right call. Is West Virginia? We said we're, they're not going down without a, without a fight, and they put up their fourth round on the board here. Fourth round on the board soon enough. Tillo rotating back over to A. Going to go for the save. I mean, better to have one rifle and some shield than none going into the next round. Yeah. I agree with Tillo here saving this one and can be the hero in the next round to find all these crucial picks. Well, because he's going to be, I think, the only one who can afford a Phantom here for the Saints. Yeah, you can see they're not too rich. Instinct will opt to go for that Vandal as well, sacrificing some utility. But the rest of the team can't afford such lavish lifestyles. No, they cannot. It's all just scrappy guns and some scrappy plays that are going to have to come through for the Saints. Over here, but they're still buying some weapons. They're still trying to get around on their hands, put themselves to match point, as they don't want West Virginia to get too close for comfort. Yeah, West Virginia now will have the full buy, so they're going to be buying absolutely everything they can every single round. There's no saving. There's no thinking about any of that stuff. You only have a couple of rounds to spare here. You need to go all out and just really, really give it everything you have. It looks like a has been completely abandoned by St. Clair. And I think West Virginia are going to very happily march their way over there. And if they get this plant down, it's going to be practically impossible for the Saints to play retake. It's going to be very, very Back difficult here. for the Saints to play retake. They're all stacked over on C. <laughs> Their whole team. Their whole team's over on C. So in the event of a retake... It's going to be it's a cooked. long trek back over there. It's, it's going to be a lot of time off the board. And with that sonar dart, I think they're going to wise enough to the fact that this site is completely free. <laughs> yeah, and Sinclair hasn't even started rotating yet, no. so this is just a complete disaster for the Saints. The spike does go down. They only have 40 seconds to play the retake <laughs> here, and by the time they even get to the site, 20 seconds are already going to be gone, so 
I mean, it's just going to be insanely hard. Inox finds an easy opening pick onto Smiley. The trade does come out from Truth, though, so going to be an extra Vandal picked up here. I'm wondering, are the Saints even going to go for this one? Looks like they will. They have a couple cheaper weapons, so dying isn't the end of the world. But I think this round's practically impossible for them to win. As the really spike is ticking up. quicker and quicker, the Sova ult drone does come out, finds one mark, but the Saints just don't have time here. The spike's about to explode. As the shots from Caillou does find one, doing some damage, but yeah, it's just an easy round for West Virginia. As the Saints just kind of completely gave away. Yeah, they gave that A a Y like it was a nicely wrapped Christmas present. They just <laughs> completely went to the other side of the map. No one was even on B. There was no yeah. one even close there. The C stack did not quite work out there. Right but here. nonetheless, now the Saints right have here. money. They've waited long enough. This is the round where they need to turn it around for themselves or else West Virginia is going to be making a relatively good comeback here. Oh yeah, if, if uh, West Virginia wins this round, they are on pace to bring it back to at least 11-7, 11-8. And uh, when it gets that close, one mistake here, one mistake there, you're in a tie game. So I don't think St. Clair should get overconfident here. Would love to see them just close this one out cleanly and uh, not, you know, do anything too silly and close this match out just in relatively good fashion. No silly goofs here. We need to be locked in serious as ever. Dinks. Dinks up here in Garage. Dinks waiting, and Dinks waiting oh. for it, misses the shot. And now Dinks gets out. I think maybe a bullet through the wall is all that hurt him. Yeah, I mean, that was a shot that instant usually hits, but now it's gonna be Dinks is re the exact same corner and finds a truth there. Smiley will teleport. Spike is down, by the way, so Saints have to move Dinks in that s same corner. Found a couple shots. Smiley will take one down. Has no idea there's a second here. A77 will just find an easy kill here. 3v2, uh, 3v1 now for the side of West Virginia. They're just completely running over the Saints and St. Clair have no idea what to do in response. They must, they're going to be saving this next round and you know this can be a way way closer match than what it looked like it was going to be. I don't think either of us after a 10-2 half neither of us expected it to go this far and already West Virginia just doing an absolute masterclass as uh, of being patient of playing the game and pressing the advantage of the Saints you can tell now after losing round after round there's a little bit of anxiety that starts to set in. Hey guys, why is this slipping away from us? We just need one more round to get to match point, two more rounds to close out the entire game. And they just can't quite seem to get it. They're missing some shots they can't, they usually should hit. Yeah, no matter what now, it's gonna be a full buy for the rest of this half, no matter what happens for the side of West Virginia. And Saints had them in a chokehold where if they won a round, there would have been no money left and they let that one slip away. So that's one thing Saints definitely need to work on when they have these big leads, they need to finish these games out and not make it close because one round here, one round there, and all of a sudden it's a tie game. I think that's not something the Saints want to deal with. So it's a great comeback brewing for uh, West Virginia University here. And they've definitely put themselves on pace to bring this, uh, bring this game back. Yeah, and it's going to be tough for the Saints now. I don't even know if taking the timeout at this point was the best decision because you have no money left in the bank. You're just going for a thrifty. Maybe you have some crazy play you're cooking up. I mean, you do have two ultimates on board. If you wanted to fully commit to this round, you could, but you still do have some time here. You know, you still could have waited till you had some money in the bank. I think if there was ever a round to maybe five stack a site, this would be it. But uh, that won't be the case here. The Sova Ultimate is popped from Excite and Instinct on the Yoru. Will be falling down. Has a teleport. Not too sure how that could even happen, but it's going to be an easy site take for West Virginia and Saints. After calling the timeout, show little to no resistance on this A site. A little to no resistance at all. The Saints once again forced into a retake scenario when they could just be playing standard defense, but they want to play for these retakes. That's what they're comfortable with. A TP into the shadows here. Dinks holding heaven, expecting to get over the push. No. Flip around, get one. Truth is down. Caillou pushing the corner, taking out that neon. But once again, the trades just come through on the side of West Virginia. It's a 4v1 for St. Clair once again. Tillo, a really bad spot, gets taken out by Gucci. 
Yeah, it's another round for West Virginia as expected. Now it's an 11-7 game. Saints will have a bye here. I think Saints are going to be all in on winning this round. They're going to use everything they have because, I mean, you don't want to lose this round. Then you have to save again 11-9. Puts you in a very, very pr big predicament then. They have a couple ultimates to use. But I think we might see the Viper ult. I think on A would be the best play because they're struggling so hard with defending that A site. But from what I see, the Viper's over on C. And they say it's one again, once again not able to buy full shields. Yeah. They're just going for whatever they can buy. Maybe like an 80% buy at that point. When they need this full buy, yeah. things rounds are way too close. You need any advantage you can get. And... At this point, if they lose here, they're going to be down and out for quite a, well, quite a while. And if it keeps going at this pace, we're going into overtime. If we're going at this pace, we might not even see overtime. <laughs> West Virginia are just completely on fire right now. But we saw this from the Saints in the first half. They were on the same kind of pace. So one round could really flip things on their heads. And Saints, in the crucial, crucial scenarios, they found these clutches. They found these big, big plays. When they shouldn't be winning rounds, they're winning rounds. And now the push into Garage is going to come through Truth. Will choose to drop straight into the opponents. Finds one, does not find the second. That would have been a great double kill. But Dinks just running in here on 46 HP. Caillou does see the head, but chooses to stay alive here. There comes the breach ultimate. The site is taken, but so much damage going to be done to the side of West Virginia players. Still, the plant will go down Saints yet again. Can't withstand the pressure and have to play retake. Playing retake once again in West Virginia. So clean at this retake, especially with the Killjoy ult. It's going to be a lot of pressure to move faster. Oh, there's a double Beautiful peak. blind, though. Caillou gets two. Till gets the third. One oh. left. Takes out the Killjoy ult, gets all vision though. Excite needs to play the post plan perfectly here with the Phantom. He doesn't have the range. Big. And that's going to be Caillou getting three kills and winning the Saints the round. And that's huge for the Saints. A big momentum swing back in their favors as they put themselves on map and match point. And they didn't even use everything they had. They still have that Viper ultimate. They want to fully shut down the site. And they have the Killjoy ultimate for retake and Sobo ultimate. So I think now they will be a bit more okay with giving up a site completely and playing for the retake. Because having Killjoy ultimate, Sobo ultimate just makes it so much easier. And especially when there's no Sobo ultimate on this other side, it will be so hard to destroy that kill drill ultimate that the retake should be relatively easy. Should be, but it could always just not go that way. Good. The Saints have gone in with plans and it's just fallen apart before. And West Virginia still has all that money the in the bank. Silver ult early, trying to get an early pick. It might be able oh, to, just barely misses so it. Close. Yeah, nice try there from Attila. We found that one. Would have been a great start to the round, but still. Yeah, it's a good amount of damage down instinct. I love this angle he has, but I don't think we might we're gonna see any West Virginia players going that way anytime soon as they have looked to go up mid here. Might go for another garage to see push. Yeah, West Virginia now being a little bit more cautious after losing that round. They know the Saints have wisened up to their full bomb rushes onto the site. Now they're gonna have to play a little bit more what? patiently. This is just ultimate it though as Dinks pops alt rushes in. <laughs> Throw a caution to the win. A77 Ananux gets one. Two Finally two. gonna get two right back. Two for two. 3p3 three is oh. the scoreline. Good Molly applying pressure, not taking out Inox though. Just one more shot will seal the deal. Oh, this Omen doesn't know that Tillo's right above him, but neither do the Saints <laughs> members. That was a very, very close peak. Does jump up, doesn't find the shots. Both players can't find anything. Tillo finally finds that shot. Now it's gonna be a 2v3 situation, and they have a smoke. They know both players along. We're gonna see another smoke come out on long here. Tillo finds a shot with a shock dart from across the map, and Truth finds the game winning kill. St. Clair College win the series 2 to 0 after a very, very intense second lap. Yeah, absolutely beautiful close out from St. Clair. They adapted to West Virginia. But West Virginia, you got to hand it to them. Oh, they yeah. played very, very well against the Saints, gave them a good run for the money in both games. And now. 
It's going to be Saints, though, taking the series, adapting just a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, they moved to 5-0 on the season, and that's for a reason. You can see they can just blow teams open, but I think the little thing that they need to work on is keeping those big leads. Exactly. I, they start doing some silly stuff, you know, pulling out the knife. Even though you're still winning big, tiny things like that can affect you further onto the map, and we saw it there. But still, nonetheless, a great performance from the Saints as they move to 5-0 on the season. Yeah, and that's all we're going to have here for today in terms of Valorant. But join us tomorrow. We do have a more Valorant yeah. on the way. It's going to be the Aurora series. So come see a different team of the Saints play Valorant. It's going to be a very good time, very exciting. But that's all we have here for today, folks. So we're going to move into the closing out section. Thank you very much, Theo, for joining me here on the desk. Thank you. Gabriel, the director in the back. Thank you, Ari, for observing. And thank you, Danners, for making this whole production run. Once again, we also have to thank our sponsors, Tim Horton, Subway, and Alienware. And we cannot forget the St. Clair College Alumni Association and the SRC. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.